the core quadrant concept is just a concept. Um, for me, the philosophy behind it is much more important. The, the, the model is just a model. The, the philosophy is, you know, focus on what you are for, not what you are against. Um, so don't try to get rid of your pitfall. See how you can add something to your life, your challenge, which I, you are for. That message, I think, is very important. Don't fight. Don't uh, make sure your mindset starts with yes rather than no. Um, don't be reactive, because reaction, reactive means that you start with something you, you say no to. And in the quadrant, that's for example your pitfall and your and your allergy. Focus what you say yes to. It's like sort of what do you pay attention to? To what to your inner no or your inner yes? Well, that's the quadrant is an expression of that thinking. Um, and I find that far more important than, than the model itself. So make sure that you find your inner yes. What do you say yes to? What do you want to create? What do you want to contribute? What is it you want to uh, leave behind on this planet? Uh, what would fulfill your, give fulfillment to your life? Was I was, yeah, I, no, no, I, I, I remember the moment. Yes. It was in February and it, I know the place and uh, it is in Garderen. Garderen is a place in the Netherlands. Uh, and there's a hotel called Spulders Bos. And usually when I work with a group, I, I, during lunchtime, I go for a walk just by myself. And I was walking in the, in the wood and I saw four boxes. And uh, I often have images. And, and the, the, the upper two boxes were quality and pitfall. I didn't call it pitfall then, but it was the quality and distortion. I was just, you know, playing with the idea that qualities have distortions, and, and now I call it pitfalls. And the other two were empty, the, the the lower two, and it sort of filled itself in within seconds, maybe minutes. I don't I don't remember, but it was it was complete. It was quality pitfall challenge allergy, and I walked back to the group and I just drew it on on a flip chart. Uh, and I didn't have the faintest idea of how it would change my life. <laughs> it was just one of those, you know, uh, things that sometimes pop up. Uh, and then I discovered that I started working with it and people liked it and other colleagues started to use it. And my partner in, in Can Consult, he at a certain point said, you know, if you don't write a book about this, somebody else will. And then I thought that would be a pity <laughs> if somebody else would write it. So I decided to write my first book. It was a wonderful tip from this person. Yes, he was very insistent. He, he just, you know, because I, I, I thought I couldn't write. I'd never written a book before. So uh, in, in the end, when it was finished, I thought, okay, this is it. Now I can move on and do something else. Come up with another idea. It's like a sort of crazy idea that you always have to be original. <laughs> Uh, and then I discovered that it just took off. The book became a bestseller, and it, and now you know there are books in, in in more than ten languages about it. So it it never stopped. It's just developing and uh, becoming more, uh, finding out more depth behind it. The beginning was simply four boxes, and now it's a whole way of life. So uh, I've been busy with this for. 25 years, and do you, probably. Do you do you, uh, do you see it as your model? No, no. It's. Uh, I didn't come up. This is how the universe works. <laughs> if I work in China, the first response of people in China is, "Oh, that's Yin Yang." They immediately recognize it because it is a polarity model, the yes. quality and challenge are complementing qualities. That, I didn't invent that, that has always been like that. I just happened to, you know, to give words. I, I created a, a, a language that helps people to understand it easier. But the concept is universal. That's why it is so 
popular. That's why everybody, wherever I come, whatever country, they all recognize it. Daniel, a few years ago you had uh, in Europe a conference for people who are trained in core qualities, yes. so certified people, and the point on the agenda was the core or the center yeah. of the quadrant. Yes. What's, what's that? Well, that's the point where what I was talking about when, when your quality and your challenge are combined. So if you are patiently determined that you bring together these qualities. If you are flexibly structured, if you uh, are, you know, if you are, uh, you, you confront people and you are, have empathy at the same time, that's, that's where challenge and quality come together. Yeah. Which is the most important part of the whole quadrant, because that's, for most people, that's a new experience, to experience yourself being patient and determined at the same time. It's not either or, but it's to be both at the same time. And the first time you experience that moment where you are in balance is most of the time very impressive. So I, have, I let people walk their quadrants and then see if they can, if that helps. We can talk about it a lot, uh, but to, to physically feel it inside your, your, your body is, is fantastic.